Welcome back to Conarium. It's time to go down and see what horrors await us down in this, I don't know, mine shaft or whatever it is. I don't know if seeing that entire, like, 30 second climbing animation was totally necessary. Oh. The device. There's one. What's this? Oh. Looks like constellations or stars or something. It is said that ancient conariums have the ability to transfer one's mind outside through the endless vacuum into other receiving conariums. Just think about the possibility of shedding off the earthbound mortal coil to reach to the stars and yonder as a free agent to see the grand scheme above and beyond the third dimension. Being able to contemplate vistas and sense things you could never ever dream of with the help of the bodily sensations. Finally, we shall overleap time, space, and dimensions, and without bodily motion, peer to the bottom of creation. Yes, I know how this sounds to you. This is incomprehensible, even for someone like me who spent almost a lifetime on such arcane topics. It is just sad to see. The knowledge has been out there all the time forevermore, and we failed to read between the lines. Looks like this came from the printout. Looks like shapes generated from random computer characters. Hmm. Wonder what door that's for. I remember this place and what we achieved here. Violating the laws of nature with the help of those dead bodies brought here secretly from only God knows where. Forcing them to cooperate by the means of the cursed necromancy and dreaming their dreams in those profane sessions to learn forbidden knowledge. Now I can distinctly see how pure madness once roamed here within our own shoes. Wait, they somehow went inside of the minds of those preserved bodies? Christ. That's what the key's for.
note of the symbol. I knew it. All those years of extensive research have not been in vain. Here it is. Lying dormant and standing still beneath the eternally shifting sands of Rubal Kali for who knows how many millennia. Am I Faust now? Yeah, we're definitely playing a different character. I don't have any of my items. Yeah, I think this is when Faust found... I forgot exactly what it was, but the notes mentioned that they found something at, like, a dig site. Wasn't it uh, one of the maps had locations marked in some sort of desert somewhere? I don't remember where. Where there were canariums or something like that. seems like it was intentionally blocked with this ornate wall and there are some primal writings inscribed on it hmm as far as I can tell the text talks about a guardian a formless glistening and reflectively iridescent black protoplasm able to mark and reflect all forms and organs the Typhon Such interesting looking creatures. Webbed feet. So am I supposed to break this? Because there's obviously stuff behind it. I'm destroying this priceless information. I'm a horrible uh, archaeologist. Dear God, what is wrong with me? This looks ridiculous. <laughs> I, I got the feeling that the uh, developers developed this breakable wall and then got really excited about it because they liked it so much and then they just used it everywhere. They really love that wall. Oh, they're so cute! Oops. Don't axe them. Crouch down, look at them. Tiny little creatures offering bowls of tiny little crystals. Hmm. And just like way back, when I lit up that sky thing, like the sky dome closed and then it was a secret to find that one specific thing had been lit up, I think, orange. This reminds me of that. So this one's lit up red. Not that the color probably matters. Make sure I didn't miss any pathways down here. Nope. Can I spin every single ring? Yes, I can. Oh. Does it light up when it's next to another one of those dots? It looks like it. Does that go for the center ring as well? Yes. Okay, so let's take a look at this. 
circular stone tablet with lots of inscriptions on it. Uh, tablet with mostly illegible symbols on it, however, one symbol which appears to be in the shape of the Canis Major constellation seems to be repeated several times. I've marked it down in my notebook. I'm assuming this must be the solution or the hints to solve this puzzle, but I don't really know what I'm looking at. Uh, let's count the number of marks. I'm gonna assume that's not, like, indicating one of the stars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight. Let's see. On the outer ring, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so each of those does correspond to one of these. Well, let's just roughly do it. So the middle one faces down. So down, down, and then we kind of like go off to the sides. Aha! There we go. That took a while. <laughs> that took a long while until I realized something. The incorrect assumption I was making is that I assumed that, because this is obviously the center, I assumed everything radiating out of the center actually denotes distance, but it doesn't. So what I was thinking is, because this is the center and this one is right here, I thought that, that means this red one, the centermost one that I can control, must be facing down. But then I thought, well wait, why? So then I thought, okay, what if it's, maybe it's this star, maybe the center one is this star, so I put it up there and then everything just fell into place. found it. This mural is depicting the continents in the middle... Hmm. Jurassic era, I believe. This is marvelous, as well as overwhelming. The light from the device is obviously showing the locations of the ancient conariums. Yes, it definitely is so, for I've known two of these places from the detailed petroglyphs in the secret halls beneath the Khafre's pyramid. But they all had gone now. Even their ruins had been crumbled under the waves of human cruelty and the merciless time. But this lower most landmass is what we call Antarctica today. It is most probable that the structure that holds the conarium is mostly enduring still today. Guessing we're supposed to leave now? <laughs> That's going to the location of the third eye. Or it's coming from the location of the third eye, I'm not really sure which. I better leave this place immediately. Giant worm thing, okay. A 
again back here what's changed oh for the first time I can go into my own room This is the price we must pay for our transgressions. The price to be paid for breaking away from the limits of mortal flesh and delving into arcana of consciousness that few have trod. Ah, wh wh what the hell is going on? You are naive for suppressing our truest aspirations. Such earthly fear of improbability detached you from our absolute purpose. I, I definitely lost my mind. That's a lot of blood. That's a lot of blood. I mean, what, did that come from his nose? That's a tentacle. Or... Is it? It looks sort of like a tentacle, but also sort of like a plant. What has happened to him? Dr. Faust, can you hear me? Are you all right? Yes. I can scarcely hear you. How terrific is the price of a single glimpse behind the veil of nature. Frank, we've sought to escape from the the tedium and limitations of waking reality into beckoning vistas of fabled avenues of other dimensions. But did it work? Or was all in vain for us to begin with? I lost my sight and I cannot feel my legs anymore. <laughs> Our bodies are falling apart under such alien sensations of this accursed device we used to open forbidden doors of time and space. And I feel every part of my body is failing fast. I have no power within me to resist my downward course now. So you... you have to move on. There is no other way. Reach the ancient conarium and shed your deteriorated skin. Else consume some of this. It will ease your pain, but eventually you will end up like me. And I'm, I have such small. Doctor Faust, Doctor Faust.
don't think I want to drink that. Oh, God. N no. I'm curious what would happen if I did, though. I think I can just do a quick save. Yeah, quick save isn't like an actual quick save, it's actually just a proper save. Um. Okay, let's try it. Oh, is that it? I think it's just like instant end game. Doctor Faust? Oh no, it's not. I found it, Frank. I finally found my answers. Under the shifting sands. Oh, so it's not like a game over exactly, it's a possible ending. Well, I'm not gonna stop there, obviously. <laughs> game results did a good speedrun. Overall progress 74%. Game ending Canary or not. Wait, I found 24 out of 25 documents? Am I up pretty much at the end game then? Uh, no thanks. All right, let me load back in and not consume it. Here we go. Okay, let's not consume that. I do think this might be the end, by the way. And the reason I say that is because the save game has a name for the section and it's called ending. Light in the distance. Hmm. Some puzzly thing with these pillars. Need the right series of symbols. Do I just need to match it? Is there a matching symbol? Doesn't seem like there's one on here that matches that symbol. Do they all have symbols? Yes. Let's see what's over this way. Hmm. 
I noticed that some of these are facing different directions. Let me just take another look around and make sure I'm not missing something. Ooh. Oh yeah, I was definitely missing something. Noted down the symbols. Okay. So there's like a big symbol and then a smaller symbol. Not quite sure what that means. I guess these are the big ones. But these I can't control, right? No, it doesn't look like it. Maybe it's just a simple matter of matching them. So maybe it just means like the one with this symbol needs to be set to this. The reason I say that is because it looks like they all have the same set of symbols. And the symbols are these on the outside. So if I can only set them to the outside and all these symbols up here correspond to these on the inside, then I guess I just need to match them. So like this one. This one is that and any... Oops, shouldn't have clicked. This one is that. So it needs to be set to that. Don't think that's right. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if this works. So this one is... That one. Needs to be set to squiggly thing with three dots. Oh. There we go. I'm not sure why they're facing different directions still. It seems a little bit odd, but doesn't seem to be relevant. Curly thing needs to be set to that. I think that's it. Yeah, gotta be. I keep looking at the wrong set of symbols. I look at these, but I'm looking for these. So this one needs... Ah, I keep clicking. This one needs to be set to that. Yep. Sun fire one. Needs to be set to... Also kind of a sun looking one. Oh! Okay, and then do I just activate it now? Is it going over here? No? So what exactly did that do? Kind of just like stops there. Oh, I think now the direction of them might matter. Ah, now I can rotate them. So where am I trying to direct it? I mean, I could just direct them all to each other so they go into a circle, but I'm assuming I need to, like, hit this one, right? But maybe it needs to hit that one while going through all of them. I don't know. Let's just try this. Wait, what? That doesn't change where the beam goes? Oh, that does. Yeah, well, they light up, so... Surely I'm supposed to light them all up. I'm just gonna try lighting them all up at first, and then I'll try sending it over there. Oh, actually, well, it's going over there already. Mm, okay, I don't think this is what we're supposed to do. Yeah, I think we just need to hit all of them or something like that. Just 
make a loop, hopefully. That look good? Did that do a thing? It's very pretty. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, I can't move them anymore, so obviously they're in the right place. I can't enter here, though. Would this make them go away? Oh, not that. Like, could this make them go away? I would need to charge it, though, and there's nothing to charge it with. Can't press that. Like, I saw it glow up there, but I don't know if I'm supposed to get up there? I don't see any way to get up there. Oh. Oh, that's one of the golems. Oh god, did I just... Oh, <laughs> I was just thinking, did I just give it life? Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna get out of your way. Very soft and gentle footsteps. Oh, thank you. Ew. Can I charge off you? Ah. fell over. All these things coming out of the ground, spikes or whatever you want to call them, they actually kind of look like fingers coming through the ground, don't they? Even the ones in the distance. Reaching up. The heck is this thing? Should I go into it?
Didn't the note say that this place was a place where there's no light except for... Like little blips. Pure darkness. Is this where I am now? Disappeared into the ether. Ah. <laughs> Much more of an interesting ending than just taking a drug and then, I guess, dying. Well, that's interesting that it ends there because that means that I definitely missed some stuff at the beginning. You remember that strange little device with the different, like, waves on it? Waveforms? Frequencies and stuff? And I was messing with it thinking, man, I don't, I don't know what to do with it, so I'll probably find something to do with it later. And then there's the whole Morse code thing. I thought that I would be coming back to the base. Once I found out something to do with those, but... I didn't, so that means there was actually something to do there and I just missed it. Of course, given that it obviously wasn't needed to finish the game, I'm imagining it's just kind of trophy stuff. But yeah, definitely missed a couple things early on. Alright, well, let's just talk about the game a little bit. I enjoyed it. It's like a... it's a very... solid game. A very enjoyable game. It's definitely not exceptionally good. But it's just a good time. A bit of horror, a bit of adventure. Adventure elements weren't too frustrating or too hard. Felt just about right. A little bit of horror. And of course the requisite unknowable horror of a any sort of HP Lovecraft based game. Yeah, just a decent time. I enjoyed it. So I found almost every document, good amount of the memories. I only found one out of seven secrets. Dang. I'm guessing the Morse code thing and the strange device must be two of those most likely oh you know what back at the house too before I went down the ladder remember that thing with the um the like handle that I would pull and nothing would happen and then you can open up a compartment and then like I was missing something to put in there that too like I thought oh I'm gonna need this later and I'll, I'll find something to put in it but then just left it and was never able to come back to it so that probably was another secret Surprisingly hard to get those secrets. Not that they're necessarily hard to solve, but I guess just because I didn't realize I needed to solve them then and there, or I could never get back to them. But yeah, I feel like I played it pretty exhaustively. I think I poked my head into every single room possible. Except the one that I missed. Back in the place, you know. The place where I missed that one place. Alright, so that has been Conarium. I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.